Hi, I'm Bill, the knee pain guru. I just got done reading a book by Jim Lore called The Power of Story. And in the book, there was an example given about what motivates people, what motivates someone to do something. And the piece that was really compelling for me was he was telling a story about to these business executives. And there was a, a board about 30 feet long, uh, about an inch and a half thick, that was 12 inches wide. And it was spanned over hundreds of feet high between two buildings. And he proposed the question to these executives, would they walk across that board for $5 million? Now the board, if it was laid on the floor, would be a pretty simple task to walk across. However, suspended hundreds of feet high between two buildings makes it a different experience, makes it pretty scary. And there was only, out of 30-some executives, there was only a few of them that actually volunteered to do it, said they would do it for $5 million. Then he upped the ante to $50 million, thinking that everybody in the room would volunteer for it. And only a few more did. And then he posed the question, what if you had family members on the other building that you had to save their life if you didn't walk across this board? And he asked, how many of the executives would walk across that board to save family members? And all of them raised their hand. So the point of the story was, they had to find a compelling enough reason to walk across that board, to walk across between those two buildings suspended hundreds of feet in the air. So then Jim Lore proceeded in the story to say, you got to find out your why. What is your why for doing something? So in terms of getting over knee pain, in order to be motivated enough to do what you need to do to make sure you get out of knee pain, you have to understand your why. Most of the time, people talk about, well, I want to be out of knee pain, which is a reasonable request. However, our subconscious doesn't understand negatives. It doesn't understand no knee pain. All it hears is, well, you still have knee pain. It's kind of like, think, like saying, uh, don't think about a pink elephant. Don't think about that object. Don't think about knee pain. And you're still going to think about that pink elephant. Your subconscious is still going to think about the knee pain. So here's what I'd like for you to do. I'd like you to go down below this video and think about your why and write down your why. Why do you want to get over knee pain? Now there's a couple rules. You can't use a negative. So it can't be no knee pain. It has to be, what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to experience on the other end of that board? Because right now, taking that first step across that board is going to be terrifying. It's like, gosh, am I still going to have knee pain? Am I still going to have problems? So, we need to find a compelling enough reason for you to get out of knee pain. And that's what you're going to do for me right now. So go down below this video and write down why you want to be out of knee pain. What are you going to do? Are you going to spend time with your family? Are you going to spend time with your significant other? Are you going to go jogging, playing tennis, football, soccer, baseball, basketball, volleyball? What is your why? What do you want to experience? Think of it in positive terms. And when we have that compelling enough reason why, the how works out. It's going to be a piece of cake. So go ahead, go down below this video, leave your comments below, and let me know your why. Let me know your compelling enough reason. Thanks a lot, and I'll be in touch soon.